Hello there, I'm Chris James. I'm an orthopaedic hand surgeon and I work at the One Hospital here. Hand arthritis is incredibly common. There are multiple joints within the hand and the wrist and each of these specific joints can develop arthritis. In fact, over 50% of those above the age of 65 will have a form of hand arthritis affecting them. This tends to affect females more than males and there are two main types of arthritis. There is the osteoarthritis, which is wear and tear disease, which tends to come from age, overactivity and previous trauma throughout life. And that causes a wearing down of the joint surfaces. The other main form of arthritis are the inflammatory arthritis, which a good example would be rheumatoid arthritis, where severe inflammation is caused around the joints, causing the symptoms. Osteoarthritis affects any of the joints within the hand and will tend to cause pain specific to the joint, but also can radiate across the hand itself. It will also cause inflammation and subsequent swelling around the joint. This can be worse in the colder months. These symptoms can be disabling for patients and can mean that people lose night's sleep as well as have severe loss of function throughout the day. Common joints that are, that are affected are the, the ends of the fingers as well as the middle joints of the fingers as well as the base of the thumb. These are very typical in female patients. A lot of male patients may have wrist arthritis or arthritis between specific other joints in the hand, which can be very disabling. There are many forms of treatments that can be available before we contemplate surgery. These range from very simple techniques such as activity modification and avoidance of painful activities through to wearing splints and uh, straps around the hand and the wrist which will limit the motion and provide some stability. As well as this, physiotherapy can be extremely beneficial to patients because it will enable strengthening and encourage mobilisation around the joints that are becoming stiff and painful. There are other treatments which can be purchased from health shops such as glucosamine, chondroitin, magnetic bracelets which some patients say they have excellent benefit from. Prior to surgery I would normally suggest trial of a single steroid injection into the joint which can have excellent effect. Surgeries that are very effective within the hand are fairly wide ranging and we would normally tailor the actual operation to the patient's needs and requirements. Common procedures that we perform here are fusion of specific joints which reduces the movement within the arthritic joint and limits the pain. Joint replacement surgeries similar to knee surgery can also be performed in the fingers as well as the wrist joint itself. When certain joints are affected, it's also possible to remove the diseased bone, especially at the base of the thumb. And this tends to have an excellent outcome for patients' pain and function. I'm delighted to say that we will see, consult, and treat all patients with hand and wrist arthritis and provide any information further that's required. Mm -hmm.